That's a big boy. Now we can just eliminate it with Shatter Skull smashing and I'm sure he'll scoop, but we want to really try to have some fun. Um, yeah, let's have some fun, guys. <laughs> oh, I love it. Do you smell that? Ah, oh, it's a sweet smell of victory and kicking the crap out of the opponent while having a blast in the meantime. Wow, this deck, I had so much fun with this build. Just when you see the gameplay, you'll understand. So what are we doing here, baby? Well, we're going, uh, we're going Gruel and uh, you know, those are two, my, probably my favorite color combination is Gruel. We are going to be utilizing a fun, fun cards from the new set. Lotus Cobra for the Landfall, um, probably arguably the best card in green that came out of the set um, next to the, the turn timber. But we want a bunch of lands to enter the battlefield, and we want to get a bunch of triggers from those lands. And this deck, I'm telling you, out of nowhere, you'd be like, oh no, we might lose. You turn the match around like that on like the drop of a hat, man. It's crazy. Drop of a dime, sure. All right, let's just go over the deck real fast. Um, a new, another card that we have in here is uh, Phylath, a world sculptor. Let's talk about the big boys really quick. Enters the battlefield, create a 0 1 green creature token for each basic land you control. That's pretty cool. We do have a decent amount of basic lands, but we also wanted to make room for a bunch of other stuff. So, this, I mean, is not bad. I think we have a total of 10 basics, 12 basics, something like that. Uh, we'll just talk about that in a minute. But uh, whenever a land is a battlefield under your control, put four plus one plus one counters on target plant you control. That is legit. Then we have ourselves um, an ancient green warden with reach which comes in real handy we ended up winning a match just because of the reach on this card you may play lands from your graveyard if a land entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger that ability triggers additional time which is stupid the brokenness in this build would be so well there's so many things i mean wait till you see how many starks we can make it's stupid uh migratory grade horn when you throw that onto our all-star skew swarm over here which says, for three, it has landfall. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token. The key thing here is, if you control six or more lands, create a token that's a copy of Skewed Swarm instead. If we mutate onto this, yeah, you get the mutated copy as a token. So if we mutate with Starix, it becomes a 6-6. Six, six, uh, yeah, a big 6-6 six, six elf beast out there. Um, also, it could become... Uh, any, anything we mutated on, a bunch of migratory great horns, you can mutate with that. And then you're having a bunch of triggers from all the lands entering the battlefield. It's just, it's from all the landfall. It's just so dumb. There is a nasty little combo in here with uh, Terror of the Peaks. You could easily beat your opponent in one turn and just smash them all to heck with Terror of the Peaks. Because whenever a creature enters the battlefield under your control, um, it's going to deal that much damage equal to their power to any target. Dirty. I didn't want to focus all on that, though. I wanted the deck to be more on, like, the competitive side, more on the, like, also meme -ish side without going too deep into Terror of the Peaks territory. So I only included one copy in the, in the main board. Um, Armored Killer, beautiful. Takes out enchantments. There's still a lot of removal, especially for white, you know, um, with the uh, exiling effects and all that. And just whatever enchantments on the board. Two in the main board, though. Um, and it also has Mutate. So a total of, uh, we got two, four, ten. Ten total Mutate cards in the build cultivate three copies we're not we're not running a ton of basic land so late game this comes in it's garbage there's times we might not even be able to do anything with it really late game you know but um it's great for ramping up and then we also have our friend rada she is uh some bread and butter and if we uh mutate onto her with um starix here then we have ourselves a very nasty threat because we can pump it up and it is trample that's stupid. Um, yeah, you can make this thing like a 16-16 with Trample when mutated on Pretty Nuts or bigger, whatever. Uh, some newer land cards we are going to be playing. Um, I went with three copies of this because it's going to take out threats. If we need the land, cool. If we don't need the land and we need to take out something, we got three forms of nasty removal in here, um, which can even double the damage if more than six was spent, which you're going to see we get a lot and I mean a lot, of, uh, of mana from this build. So three copies of that, as well as another newcomer. Where are you? There you go. The Turn Timber, which is pretty legit. Um, it lets us uh, look at the top seven cards and put one of those onto the battlefield. And if it's uh, three or less, then it enters with plus one, plus one counters on it, which is really, really cool. 
and if we need the land, we can go with the land. Very stupid, very stupid fun deck. Tell me how stupid this deck is. It's gonna just blow your mind. Uh, Gilded Goose, I think, is good because of the flying aspect. It can use it. We can use it as a chump block, or we can mutate onto it and get in a lot of damage. You know, if I didn't have the Gilded Goose, there was a match we could have lost. So there you have it. And it also keeps us in the match because of the life gain. I like that for sure. Um, that's about it. That wraps up the whole build, man. Um, very fun, simple to use uh, deck you're going to like. I also threw in for the land base a Bonders Enclave, which um, only one of because we need basics, okay? I couldn't flood it too much. But this is a great card. And we even won another match just because of this, because of the card draw aspect. If we didn't have that additional little oomph, you know, um, to get cards into our hand, we could have lost a, a match easily. So uh, Bonders Enclave, one copy. I highly recommend one copy at least. Uh, in the build. Fabled Passage, it works great with the Landfall. It also works because it counts as like two basically. So in one turn, you get two Landfall drops. One with Fabled enters, you sacrifice, and then you bring out um, another land from your library and throw it onto the battlefield. It's two triggers from it. And what's even better about it, once we sacrifice it, we have ourselves Ancient Green Warden, which allows us to bring that back and get more triggers. So then when it enters, it'd be four triggers off Fabled Passage if we have a Green Warden on the battlefield. Bonkers, guys. Um, we're running four of the new lands, the Timber Crown and Crag Crown Pathways. They are great. Three mountains. Um, what's this? Eight. Can I see that? It should be eight. No, that's, that's three Castle Garenbriggs. I'm sorry. Um, and there should be eight forests. I don't know why it's not lighting up how many forests I have here. That's kind of weird. Uh, so, yeah, that's strange. But, uh, yeah, um, I'll have the deck list um, with all of the details in the description of the video. But, yeah, that's all. it. And it's weird because when you look at it, it might say, like, 23 lands or 22 lands or something. But they don't factor in these. These don't count as lands, just to how magic reads it, you know. Um, let me just give you an example really quick. Uh, let's shrink that and then go with here 22 lands it says we have that's a lie we have 27 lands when you factor in these okay so keep that in mind all right uh that's the entirety baby watch this nasty sauce uh just take place you guys are gonna like this enjoy that is one big pile of slow though yeah we're going a little slow here not in black, are you? Good to you. Cracking cat. Oh, opponents probably got wipes. Opponents probably got baby wipes. I'm just gonna guess, guys. Down goes forest. Uh oh, here we go. The flash build. The mighty, mighty flash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, Lotus. He doesn't do a whole lot just yet, but we're getting there, friends. We're getting there. Really kill my Lotus. That's at four now. It doesn't really matter. Sky Castle at four. We're just gonna play Scooter. If Mana Burn was going on right now, wow. Y'all would be dead. <laughs> um, he could flash something in right here. I don't like that, so we're just not gonna attack. We'll wait till we've developed some what of a board. Now, the nice combo with Fable Passage, we can get it twice. Um, off Lotus Cobra, so next turn we will have a nice amount of it. We should be able to play our green. green. Oh, 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 oh. Stop milling or something. Yeah, stop that. This guy. This guy. That's some damage. Alright, he's out the gate quick. You have reach, which is sweet. You just got Okay. Oh, he picked everything. We gotta sack our swarm, that stinks. 
Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go with uh, green. And then we're gonna do this. Sure. And that's how you get an ancient green word now. And we had some leftover stuff. What do you know? All right, big boy on on, uh, on board. And because he's milling us, we can play our lands again, so we can play replay Fabled Passage. The beautiful thing about Green Warden is he has the reach where he stops Master, but we may, uh, he may be just be removed here in a, in a moment. We'll see. Two Green Wardens on the field <clears throat> would be pretty nasty. That would make a lot of Mina. I might just go with, uh, turn Timber. I just may. Not a fan of that name, honestly. Turn Timber. Turn Timber Serpentine. I, I don't. I don't like it. It's just me. I know. Please don't remove my Warden and then swing. We have a lot of lands to play. Oh man. All right, what to do, what to do, what to do, 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 do. Do we um, really put some eggs in the basket and get another one of these dudes out just for fun? We are having fun. Yeah, I'll throw a red in the mix too. Could have a great horn on Cobra or something, but it's whatever. We'll get Timber cooking here. Please be something gravy, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dirty girl. Um, cannot attack yet. Unfortunately, I know, I know. Our board is legit. This is what I wanted was to have this guy out, this guy out, or the super room too. Oh, you son of a biscuit. All right, no reach on you. But we have an, uh, an additional green warden here for backup. So that's good. All right, we'll go. Discard, eh? I mean, I can keep playing lands from my grave as long as we have uh, Ancient Warden out. So I guess I'll get rid of you. Okay. Green Giant. Alright, really good. Alright, Fabled. There you go. There you go. Kraken. I was trying to finish that, but I mean, that's cool too. On to the next one. problem is we don't have another land. I mean, I guess we do have this, technically. I don't like using it for the land side, but we could. Okay. I'm going to turn to Scooter. It's fun. But we're going to need, uh, we're going to need a mutate. And, uh, sorry, you're a little late to the game. It's going to be a little slow. Cultivate's cool, though. That's good. So... I guess I'll play this. 
Titan 3 life. I should really, I mean, if we scoot first and then cultivate, that'd be ideal, but odds are he's just gonna blow this up. And then I don't get my land drop, my land drop unless we top deck. But we're, we're a gambling friend here. We're a gambling friend. See what happens. Taking a chance. Not paying off. We really messed up there. Oh no. Got a token out of it. That's fun. Mmm. Okay. I guess there's no point to crack now. That really is a bummer. But I had a feeling. I had a feeling it was going to happen that way. Terror, though. Oh, man, that could go off. Sure. Okay. <sighs> Goodbye, Scooter. So, we're going to create that now. And then we're also going to sack this now. Do we want to get the red? I suppose it doesn't matter right now. Super. Comes out. Scooties in the in, in the pits. Great horn, of course. Great horn would come up right right after, huh? Okay. Um, I think this is pretty easy. What we do here, friends, we're going to uh, make good use of you, flying boy. Uh, he's gonna take out my cultivate, and that's like whatever. Ooh. Okay. Let's get a red. I'll hold off with my. No, we probably should. Go ahead. We don't have to crack it yet, though. That's the thing. Get first strike or something. Okay, whatever. <clears throat> Pass the turn. We definitely could have played Cultivate over Great Horn, because then he would have nothing to take. So I guess we could have done that differently. I don't want to crack, uh, crack Fabled yet. That's cute. Okay, so down goes Great Horn. We do got removal for that though. Built-in removal, my friends. Lotus, Cobra. Okay. I guess Terror is a good... Uh, mm, that's stomach. I keep hearing my stomach growl like crazy. Terror hits. All this glory. Graveyard's gone. Question, does he have removal? It looks like he's a control build, so... I mean, clearly. Clearly, he's controlling. Oh no, dead weight. What a rascal. Alright, kills that. Loses both of those, though. That was kind of rough, huh? Okay, one, two, three, three. Yep, we got it. Ah, oh, hack dogs. Okay, this should be alright. Crack Fable to get the greenage. Boop. Scary. There you go. Ooh. A lane. You don't say. Alright, get in where we fit in. Down to five. I didn't realize I did that much damage to him already. Did he damage himself at all? No, he can't. Right? Archon. Oh man, nice little uh, saber there. Oh, but that's gonna be the ball game. I'm sorry, my friend. Okay, we're gonna play you. Followed by you. That should really wrap it up. That's gonna mess this whole world up. Okay, let's go. Shrink. Ooh, nice drink. Ah, oh, not too bad. Okay, nothing too fantastic there. Hmm, okay. He will have to block. But now that he has out Grace, um, that could change things a little bit. So we haven't seen any crazy shenanigans just yet. But we're good. Putting up a wall. Defense gets a trig. Gets a token. Okay, okay. 
Are you running any new cards in that deck of yours, my friend? Just asking for a friend. Okay, no block. Uh, I'll use this now. Ouch. Okay, that's not cool. Nothing really, really. I mean, we can't really do much here. Ouch. We have a lethal on board? No, because he can jump block. Okay. All right. Not looking hot. Looking, oh, wow. Really, dude? Are you like that serious? Here we go. I have a land. I don't think he can get ahead of us though. We just need one pool really off the top and everything changes. Good news is we keep the food tokens and sacking them. In life, but we're gonna need to compete quick. Like, no more lands. Oh, thank goodness, baby. Thank goodness, daddy O. There. Ooh. That's gonna put in so much work right now. Get out of here. Give me that. Give me all that back. I have that. Yeah, come on. No one lets me finish anymore. Yeah, that's what she said. Okay. Really hate to use my favorite passage this early. Especially with a Lotus Cobra on deck. Ah, brutal. Brutal, brutal, brutal. We could have possibly held out for a castle, but... We do have to get green as well. There will come a time when we need red. I know, that's interesting. Oh, there you go. Okay. Uh, yep. Up against clerics. Let's go run these guys over. What is missing there? Ah, uh, you are fun. Star foils, and he put a little star in his name. Ooh. Ooh. That's a fun star. Yeah, why would, come on, bros. Okay, that's, that's not good. That's not good. Scooter. Crap. This, actually, we could do this. Because this trigger those work out so we can scoot them down. Okay. Um, that could mess us up. Well, no matter what, we'll have it. All right, we'll leave it like that. No attack. Leave my swarm. Leave my swarm alone. Problem is, dude's gonna get big. Oh man, double life link. This dude, this guy, this guy. I had a feeling he was taking that stupid card out. Oh man. We allowed it to get big. Six. All right, fellas, it's time to shine, baby. Time to shine like a fine wine. Um, just in case we need the red. You never know. You never really know. How much we got? One, two, three, four, five. We even use that too. So. my friend what is good Ooh. The timbers, baby swinging all right so much for your your awesome little little combo there huh eternal thirst what are you doing oh man I love the art of this card though
Okay. Probably maybe mutate onto Greathorn. I mean, Starks is really like the the best route to go. Okay. Yeah, let's just do that. Keeping it basic. Keeping it basic. Ooh, that could be double tricks though on that. But Starix, man, we can get our one of our landfall big boys out. Let's do that. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now we're cooking Heaven's Bakery. Boom. Land. Sure, we'll give you a green. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh, the board. The board is thickening, boys. Look at that copy. It's just insanity. It's not fair. It ain't right. It ain't right so wrong. I almost want to play Lotus Cobra, but do we have enough of that? No. Okay, let's play Cultivate. Play Lotus Cobra next turn, whatevs. Boom! There you go. That is stupid. Just make a billion copies of our home slice. Um, another Lotus Cobra? No. We could play it though, that's fun. Just for fun, fellas. Just for fun. Let's get another. Let's just do this again. Whatever. It's not right. It ain't right. It ain't right. No Surrey Billy. That's a lot of Starix. <laughs> Pick which Starix you want to mutate on. Choose wisely. Okay, we'll just attack with the one, dude. He takes it like a champ. I figured. I love Starix so much. Six, six. Your first strike or anything? Indestructible. You know what? I think we can spare one of you. There you go. That's a big boy. Now we can just eliminate it with Shatter Skull smashing, and I'm sure he'll scoop, but we want to really try to have him. Um, yeah, let's have some fun, guys. I love it. Okay. Med salad. I, I really like these. I do. I like these little choice lands. I can't change the color of my rock. No. Ooh, dirty, dirty. Um, we could start the great horn. Shenanigans already. I probably should do that, or we could just cultivate. I mean, let's just cultivate. Shrink. Gonna grab the other cult. He could get grab shatter, right? I believe so. Scooter, welcome. Welcome to my chocolate factory. Okay, we want that down. And uh, no attack. Alright, if we can just mutate onto Scooter, we're looking pretty cuter. And it's gone. Well, we had a feeling it wouldn't last very long. Oh, it does not swing in. That's something. Uh, yeah, we just grade one. There you go. So, no skip though. At least not yet. And yeah, let's start delivering uh, some pain. Knock him down seven. Cool dog. Oh, it's mean. Instant death. Yeah. Oh, uh, he was probably gonna animate it, I guess. Oh, that was kind of strange. Wow, another one to use. Okay, let's just play you. Get up on there, boy. Get off me. 30. Sure. No lamp fall triggers yet, which is really sad. Um, yep. And let's just keep attacking. That's a 6-6. Six, six. 
And if we have to shatter, I just, okay, wow. We're getting, where's our landfall stuff? Where is the landfall goodies, my friends? Where? The Vortex. Times two, whoa, okay. That's fine, I think. I guess that makes sense for what you're playing here. Oh man, come on, bros. <sighs> Unbelievable stuff. Alright, this is just probably gonna make the games by mutation. By mutation alone. If we had landfall out right now, it'd be just over. We're missing out on all these trades. Yeah, okay. Alright, on to the next one. Alright, it's slow. Let's see how we do it a slow start. Sometimes you gotta do it nice and slow. Yeah. No? Okay. Ah, uh, yes, but you. So, Lotus Cobra, and then hopefully you get some. We need. Well, we can always use Shatter Scroll. So we'll Bonders. Yeah, baby. Okay, that's cool. That's pretty. Okay, that's, that's pretty cool, man. So, our opponent's gonna kill stuff. I'm assuming. Oh, whoa. Okay, that's down. It's scoot, though. Ooh, oh, he already sacked. Okay. No surprise, I guess. Let's play you. Stay on the field. Um, and then Greathorn can do its thing. But removal. Is heavy. Just one. Okay. And gonna pump it up. Another land. Okay. If we can keep our great horn on the field, that's fine. Um, we'll see. It looks like he's heavy. Heavy remove, boy. Especially if you're main boarding at ooze, you know you got a lot of removal. Ooh. Nothing bugs me. He just wants to win with a scoop. Yes, we play you and hope you stick around. That's three. Okay, good. So he he, uh, he ran out of stuff. Good. Great horn's gonna gonna put in work here. Opponent probably gonna pump his ooze next turn. We did draw another land that could bring us that. Oh boy. I think I want to get you out first before we great horn. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. We can block your ooze for a day. That's right. So even the slow, the slow start, I mean, we're coming, we're turning it back around. We do have a card draw with Bonders Enclave, which is notable. There's one copy in the deck. Because we have so much, um, we have just a lot of extra mana. So running um, the Enclave is smart. So it's something extra to do, if we run out of options. Okay. Oh, this boy. Another star. Starrix onto a Starrix, pretty dirty. Yeah, let's just do that. Or we could even hit over here, and then we hit we hit him with two different uh, cards. 
Yeah, let's play it safe. Let's, let's play it safe. Let's play it safe. for both creatures and even then he needs he needs to kill both yeah he needs to kill both otherwise Greyhorn comes down and then we just get a bigger board start can he take out the uh the second one is the big question we a blocker now with ooze but we can also smash him not yet one two three four five okay maybe a card draw no we're just gonna go with Greyhorn all right. End of days, my friends. The end of days. We'll see ya. Attack. Let's just see what we get right now. I don't care. It's not like we're gonna catch him off guard. Hmm, another land. Sure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. A lot. Okay, we can take out his ooze. Okay, that hurts a lot. That takes out our card draw and takes out um, our creature. <laughs> okay, okay. And he's gaining life out of this too. Chump blocks for days. Hmm, not exactly what we wanted. Um, we got, how much have we got? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we could kill it. Does he have any creatures here? We have to get rid of that ooze. That ooze is just causing a problem. Oh, that's right, it's more than six, okay. Okay, yeah, that's what we want to do. Okay. And then we can do this. Get red. Play you. Okay. Much better. Uh, show no mercy, guys. It sounded kind of cool. It sounded like, uh, like a game going off. Horn, baby. Um, nice. Well, we're just gonna great horn anyway. Um, that would be a cool drop, though. Story on you. We're running out of lands here. Usually the deck doesn't get this late in the game. Okay.
I wish we could do that. Oh, let me. Check whoops. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, there's no point really in pumping this up. Well, I guess kind of. That way we don't just lose it. Well, the first strike would allow us not to lose it if you block it each individually. All right, we do have Terror on board, and Terror's gonna... Skewed is so good. Um, I mean, I guess. I'll just block one. Cultivates on board next. Dang. He could kill our Rada right now. He could also kill Keld. I'm not even worried about it. All right, those scoots are going to be an issue if we can't deal with them soon. Um, just kidding. Yeah. If he does not hit removal, my friend is in trouble. Garuk is going to destroy Terror. Ah! Dang. Okay, that hurts a lot. Take the card draw again. And our homie in the sky. Uh, Lotus not helping, man. This is not going to do much of anything. I got one. Yes, okay. Oh, that stinks. That stinks. Go back, go back. How do you go back? No. Once you go into that, you can't go back. Like I'm, I'm literally hitting the go back button, and it's not doing it. No, I don't want to do that. So apparently, you can't just hit Z and go back. You cannot do that. Oh man, that really stinks. I needed that. Um, Star is on board. Okay, that's cool. I guess we'll just activate your ability. Whatever. Call drop. Okay. Next turn. Oh God! Thank goodness. Okay. So we can mutate onto onto Rada because it'll get huge. Ah, we can't mutate onto Rada really no more. Okay. This has probably been the most fun game. This is this match. Question B. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. You're not scared of dogs, are you? Oh crap. Trigger 
here for the lands since we already got them all. Ancient Warden's legit. Okay, we got that back. Um, play Fabled. Whoa, how things are turned around, my friend. <laughs> Woo! That was good, baby. That was good. Okay, what a comeback. Oh, man. So you see how explosive that tech can just go for boom. Oh, my God. That was sweetness. Keep. But slow. Oh. We're going to get ran over. Yeah, we're going to get ran over for sure. Hey, this would be the first loss. Um, I think out of, like, six matches or something. So... Um, yep, Lotus boy. She's just gonna load up and shock or something. No, he has no removal. Wow, okay. That gives us hope. Um, okay. He's delivering too much pain. Why do you deliver so much pain, Batman? Skeeter. Um, yeah, that's where he Skeeter. No attack. He probably will swing with both, though. We're not going to have time to do much here. It stinks. If we hit a Fabled Passage, uh, we'll play Starks, and then we have a shot. A really good shot, because we, we mutate on the uh, Scute Swarm. So, we top deck a Fabled Passage, or we can win. We can hold off. If we don't top deck a Fabled Passage, we're going to lose. Uh, no block. Right. Yeah, we're about... <laughs> Fable Passage? Oh, that would have been so sweet, though. It would have been so, so cool. Uh, unfortunately here, boys, uh, we are done for. That's true. We are done for. Yeah, I can play this. Uh, have it enter taps. I'll screw out one of those. Um, we could... Let's go green. Um, play you. Play you. I should have done that differently. Okay, no attack. Uh, yeah, we survived this. And, yeah, we survived this and we're cool. We're not cool, though. Okay, you got a block on you. He's got Ember Cleave. Oh, that's game. He's got Cleave. He's got the cleavy. He's got the heebie-jeebie cleavy. Um, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, block you. Yeah, he's pretty confident in this. Losing for the win. All right. We lost one. It happens. It's okay. So close though. Had we got a fabled passage, I mean, we would have been. Good game, man. All right. So that's the build. Uh, yeah. I'm cool with going out on a loss after all those wins in a row, so it's whatever. Skadoosh. Tell your mom I said hi. Let's see what else. Uh, let's just take a look at the deck. Let's take a look at the deck. What could we change about the build? What could we do to make it better? I don't know. I think the deck works pretty darn good, man. Um, yeah. The Goose comes in clutch um, early on because turn, you know, turn two, you can play some stuff. Get your Scoot Worm turn two and things like that, you know, or Cultivate turn two. Uh, it is odd to run three cultivates, but that's the route I went with. Only one Terror of the Peaks, because Terror of the Peaks is more for the memes, you know? I didn't really want to showcase Terror of the Peaks with this build, but yes, it's nutty uh, when combined with uh, Scute and the thing that starts going off, you know, when you mutate onto it. Um, I just love this. I, I, like, I like this build a lot. I think it's really fun to play with, and uh, it's a great way to stay in shape, and we won a lot of matches, so there you go. 
All right, guys, let me know what decks you're running, and also what other decks would you like to see, or maybe even some cards, you know, just name a couple of cards you want to see in the next build, and we'll get around to them. Thanks for tuning in. Skidding, skidding, skidoosh bags. Making up for teenage crime. Making up for teenage crime.